The four stages of ovarian cancer can be easily remembered by the mnemonic OPAT. In stage 1, the tumor is confined to the ovaries. In 1A, the tumor is limited to one ovary. While the capsule is intact, no tumor on the surface, with negative washing. In 1B, the tumor involves both ovaries, with the same criteria like 1A. In 1C, the tumor is limited to the ovaries, with additional criteria. I mean, in 1C1, an ovarian cyst ruptured during surgical excision, and this cyst is malignant. This is known as surgical spell. In 1C2, the capsule is found ruptured before surgery, or there is tumor on the surface of the ovary. In 1C3, there is malignant cells in ascites or peritoneal washing. Stage 2 involves tumor spread inside the pelvis. In 2A, there is extension and or implant on uterus and or fallopian tubes. In 2B, there is extension to other pelvic intraperitoneal tissues. In stage 3, there is abdominal spread of the tumor. Further classification of stage 3 depends on your eye. If you don't see the pathology, this is 3A. We don't see lymph nodes because lymph nodes are retroperitoneal. So lymph node involvement is 3A1. And it is further subclassified into two parts according to the size of lymph nodes. Also, we don't see microscopic lesions. So, microscopic extrapelvic peritoneal involvement is 3A2. When we can see small lesions, it becomes 3B. 3B is extrapelvic peritoneal involvement of 2 cm or less. When the lesion becomes more than 2 cm, the stage becomes 3C. It also includes extension to the capsule of liver or spleen without parenchymal involvement. Stage 4 includes distant metastases. 4A involves pleural effusion with positive cytology, while 4B involve liver or spleen parenchymal metastasis. It also includes metastasis to extra abdominal organs, including inguinal lymph nodes or lymph nodes outside the abdominal cavity. 